after you calculate all these two values, P values and fault changes, then you assign a threshold level of for fault change as well as P values and P values must be less than equal to 0 0.05 in order to consider it as significant. Fold change could depend, but in general, the people use plus minus two. That means when the fold change is equal to or more than 2.0, that means the gene is upregulated. If the fold change is less than equal to minus 2.0, then the gene is down regulated or down expressed. So here you will have two values for each differentially expressed genes, but fold changes are not kind of fixed things. It will depend. For example, in human cancer, the fold changes are mostly quite high. Then if you want a strict parameter in order to consider only highly significant values, then you could also increase the fold change length, like threshold, like plus minus 3.0 or plus minus 4.0 or plus minus 5.0. It depends on how big ranges of fold changes are present. Now, here you could go for heat map plotting of all the significant genes or the genes of your interest. 